Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by and I have been working in my notebooks. I've got my graph paper out. I've been kind of going crazy with my with graphs and designing some new patchworks lately and I was working on this one in particular just trying to make it look as cute as I wanted it to and then this one is a heart. This is another patchwork square and then Evie walks by when I'm designing that one and she says if you turn that into a star you could make me a cardi and I would wear it all the time and then I got this idea to make a baby foot look at the tiny footprint he's so cute I love that one I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel if so please click that button to subscribe thanks I'm going to show you how to do the heart today this would be a great little addition to a patchwork cardi. Be super cute. A few of them here and there would be really cute, or in a patch patchwork blanket, a baby blanket, a wedding present. There's all kinds of ways that you can use a heart. Hearts are easy, and this one is just really cute. And you get to learn the popcorn stitch today, so it's really simple. Also, to go with all of these, coming soon is an entire alphabet, so you can make that great big baby blanket that has the, all of the block letters in it. Coming soon, because I only have this many fingers. But let's get going on my little heart. It's really easy. I'm gonna show you how to do the popcorn stitch today. It looks intimidating, but it is not. It is really easy, I promise. And I always show you the easy way to do stuff. I'm not gonna make it too complicated for you, I promise. All of these are made with different shades or different colors of Karen Simply Soft. I'm using a 5mm hook today. That's what it suggests on the band of my yarn, so that's what I'm using today. And you can see the difference here. This was done with a 4 and this was done with a 5. Same exact stitches, same pattern. Just makes the 5 will make it a little bit bigger. This was made with a 4mm hook as well. But today I'm using a 5. So we'll slip knot. These are all 25 stitches this way by 25 rows this way. So we, in order to have 25 stitches, we want to chain 26. And do that loosely. We're going to work into these little back bumps like you've seen me do many, many times. 25 and 26. There I know, I have my long chain of 26. We want to turn it over and find all those little back bumps. The other loops, the backside loops of your chain. We want to work one single crochet into each one of those bumps. So we will end up with 25 single crochets. It takes an extra few seconds to work into those back bumps, but you want that edge to be nice and finished, especially if you're doing patchwork things. So when you join your patchwork squares or your grannies or any of those things, you join to this one, you want that edge to be a real stitch, not just working through a chain. Four, and here's my last stitch, number 25. There we go. Just a nice long stretch of single crochet. Chain one, turn your work. That was row one. Row two is exactly the same. So just single crochet all the way down. And there's my last stitch in row two. Single crochet. There we go. All right, now we get to start popcorn. So chain one, turn your work. This is a popcorn row, and this is very symmetrical, so you'll be able to catch on real quick. Uh, the first 12 stitches are single crochet, and then we'll make a popcorn. And there's 11 and 12, and now we're going to do a popcorn stitch. So mine is kind of a modified version of the popcorn stitch, because I do not use double crochets, because they seem like they were a little bit too bulky for me little bit too bulky for such a tiny square so I'm using half double crochets and what we want to do is in our next stitch we want five half double crochets in that same stitch one two three four and five 
So here's the little tricky part. You want to pull up a little bit, give yourself some slack. You're going to remove your hook and count backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Going back to your very first half double crochet that you made in that stitch. Go through that stitch, grab your working loop again, pull it a little taut, pull through the back and chain one to close. That is a popcorn stitch and they're really poofy. You can see how much texture you get from those. It's really cute. So there's our first one. That's the only one in this row. So the rest of the row is single crochet, so that's another 12. All the way down to the edge. All the way down to the end. And this is number 12. There we go. So we have one popcorn. Hooray! That's right here. Our one popcorn stitch. So what we want to do now, in between every popcorn row, this is a popcorn row, in between them there is a row of single crochet all the way back down. So we're going to do the first 12 here and then I'll show you how to find where you need to be on your popcorn. So again, this was all single crochets, so we'll here to do the first 12. It will be 25. You want to make sure that you don't skip a stitch or add a stitch. 11 and there's number 12 and now on the back of your popcorn stitch you're going to tip it a little bit and you should be able to find this little loop right here that goes diagonally it's kind of sideways kind of diagonally it is obviously not a normal stitch that's where you want your single crochet so just one one behind your popcorn and then the rest of them are just regular old normal Normal old single crochet is all the way down to the end. There's my last stitch. There's my single crochet row. It was behind my popcorns. So we want to chain one and turn our work so we can make another popcorn row. So that was technically row four, and now we're on row five. So we're going to just keep working up. We're working from the bottom up. Row five, the first 11 are single crochets. Just regular old single crochet. And there's number 11. And then we want to do another popcorn. So in the next stitch, five half double crochets in that same stitch. There's two, and there's three, there's four, and five. Loosen up your work so you can remove your hook. One, two, three, four, five. Go back to our first half double crochet in that stitch. Pull through everything. Chain one to close. And on this row we have two stitches right here, two popcorns, but there is a stitch, a single crochet in between. So it's time for a single crochet. Now we make our next popcorn. One, two, three, four, and five in the same stitch. Sit up, go back one, two, three, four, five. There's our first half double crochet, replace our working loop, pull through, chain one to close, and then all the rest of these, all the way down, another 11, single crochet to the end. And this is symmetrical, so whatever you did at the beginning should be happening at the end of that same row. Chain And there's my last stitch. Now we have two rows of popcorn. Yay! All right, chain one, turn your work. And now it's time for the row of single crochets. Every time you do a popcorn row, the next row is a single crochet row. They alternate. That's how we keep all the popcorns on the same side of our work. 
There's always a row, single crochet in between. And here we are back to our popcorn again. Remember we try to find this little sideways bar. It's obviously not a whole stitch, just kind of right there. That's where we want to put our single crochet. And there's the one in the, that's in between. And now we want to go over to our next popcorn. Right in here is where you want to grab. And that's where you want to put your single crochet. And then the other one's all the way down. Will be just a single crochet. That's really easy to see. No tricks about these. This is just regular old single crochet. And there's my last stitch. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, so we can make more. Make another row of our popcorn. So this will be row seven. The first nine are single crochet. Eight and nine. And then we're going to have two popcorns in a row. So there's my first one I'm starting. Two, three, four, and five. And I go back to my first half double crochet, replace my working yarn, pull through, chain one to close, and do that again right away in the next stitch. Right here. Boom. our working loop, pull through, chain one to close, and now in between our popcorns I have three single crochets and now we just do in reverse what we did over here, what we did over here. So two popcorns in a row There's my first popcorn. Chain one to close and then do that immediately again. And five. And chain one to close. And then the last nine, because this is symmetrical, there were nine here, so there's nine here. Single crochet all the way to the end. Oops. And there's number nine. All done. There's my popcorn row. So if we finished a popcorn row, we chain one, turn our work, and do a single crochet row all the way down. Make sure that you always have a stitch count where it's supposed to be. This should be 25. On the back right here. When these are clustered together it seems like a little bit harder to see but it really isn't. It's still there. There's our little sideways one. That's where we want our single crochet. And again the same in that stitch. And there's the three in between. One, two, three. And there's our next little cluster. Single crochet. There's a little sideways bar, single crochet, and then we're going to just do singles all the way down. And here's my last stitch, and that was my single crochet row. So we chain one, turn our work, and get ready for the next row of popcorn stitch, which is row nine. It's our first seven our single crochets and 
And there is my seven. Now we're going to do another cluster like we did right here of two popcorns in a row. Chain one to close and another one immediately after that in the next stitch. Chain one to close. Now in between our bobbles like we did down here, in between this time there's seven. So we'll go one, two, these are all single crochets, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then two popcorns. And then all the way down, the next seven are just single crochets. Six and seven. That was another popcorn row. Chain one, turn your work. And after a popcorn row is a single crochet row. Just like you've been doing all the other times. There's my last two stitches in this row of single crochet. Perfect. And all the bobbles are on the other side. Chain one, turn your work. Another popcorn row because we've just finished a single crochet row, so now it's a popcorn row. And this is row 11. We're all getting close to being done already. This is awesome. The first five are single crochets before we do our popcorns. And then you do two popcorns. Here's my first, and here's the second. Chain one to close, and then in between. We want 11 single crochets before we do that again. We're going to have 11 and then we'll have two and then it will be five. So 11 single crochets, two popcorns and five. So there we finished a popcorn row. So that means we chain one turn our work and do a single crochet row. Keeping your stitch count accurate. 24 and 25. So now my single crochet row is done. Chain one, turn your work so we can do the next popcorn row. Remember they're always alternating. So this is row 13. We are officially more than halfway done. Goes pretty fast. First three are single crochets and then we're going to do two popcorns and then 15 single crochets in between our popcorns. There we go, there's my two popcorns. Now we want 15 in the middle and then repeat our set of two and three singles at the bottom or at the end. So 15 single crochets. 14 and 15. Now two popcorns. Chain one to close and our last three stitches in this row are just single crochet. So popcorn row is complete. That means we chain one, turn our work, and do a row of single crochet as you do to keep all of the bobbles on one side. 
And hooray, there's my last stitch in that row. There's my single crochet row. So we chain one, turn our work, and now we get to do the next row of popcorns. See, it's starting to look like a heart. So cute. How adorable is that? So now we're doing row 15. So on this one, it's the first two stitches are single crochets, and then we will do two popcorns. First popcorn and another one right next to it. And then in between in this row, we're two. And then we did our two popcorns, and we have 17 two popcorns and two stitches. So in the middle here, we have 17 single crochets before we do our bobbles again, or our popcorns again. And 17. Now we have two popcorns. Two in a row there. Chain one to close and our last two stitches are just single crochet on this row, which was row 15. There we go, finished a popcorn row. So that means we chain one, turn our work, and do a single crochet row. Just like we have been all the other times. And there's my last two stitches in my single crochet row. There we go, so we chain one and turn our work so we can do another row of popcorns. The next row is row 17. Starts out the same, two single crochets, and then two popcorns. Here's the first, and here's the second. Pull through and chain one to close. We'll do eight single crochets next, and one popcorn right in the middle, because we're right here already. So we'll do eight single crochets now. Number eight, and then we want one popcorn right here. There's two, three, four, and five. Pull through, chain to close, and just that one is all by himself this time. And then we go on and do eight single crochets just like we did on the other side. Remember, this is symmetrical, so what you did at the beginning, you're going to repeat at the end. And there's my eight, two popcorns, and finish off this row with two single crochets after these two popcorns. And there's our last two single crochet. Mm -hmm. There's my last stitch, yay! So now we're starting to work the top of our heart. We only have a couple rows left. Yay! So we chain one, turn our work. We finished that popcorn row, so now it's a single crochet row. All the way down, easy peasy. And there's my last two on this row. 
our single crochet row is done. There you go. Chain one, turn your work so we can do the next popcorn row, which is right here. So this is row 19. It starts out the same as the others. We get two single crochets and then two popcorns. So they're singles. And now I could do my two popcorns. There's my stitch. Place my working yarn. Pull through the back. Chain one to close. And now we're going to work up here a little bit now too. So we want seven single crochets. We're going to do one popcorn, a single crochet, a popcorn, seven, and then repeat. So here we go. Seven single crochets before the next popcorn. And seven. Then we're going to do a popcorn and then a single crochet and then another popcorn. And chain one to close. Seven single crochets. And then we'll do two more popcorns and finish off with single crochets. There's our two popcorn time. Popcorn time. There's popcorn number one. We need one more. And then the remaining two stitches will be single crochet. There's our last two stitches. One and two. We finished the popcorn row, so that means it is chain one, turn your work, and single crochet all the way down time. And here's my last two stitches on this row. Chain one and turn our work. That was our single crochet row. So we turn our work. And we're way up here already. We're almost done. So we're going to start with three single crochet. And then we'll do our two popcorns that are right next to each other. This is row 21. So we start out with three and two bobbles or two popcorns. And now we're going to put in four single crochets. One, two, three, four, see, four, and then another set of two, two popcorns in a row. Chain one to close and then another one right next to it. And now in between, we're going to have another set of two, but in between we're going to go three single crochets. One, two, three. So you can see this is symmetrical. So it's time to do this again. Two popcorns next to each other. My next set is right here. So in between that we want four single crochets and then our last set of two popcorns for this row. Two popcorns right next to each other and the last three stitches, oops, the last three stitches will just be single crochet. Alright, there's my two popcorns and then three, this final three stitches in this row are single crochet. There we go. Finished the popcorn row. So it's a chain one, turn your work and do a single crochet row. Happens every time, all the way down. It's the last couple rows. 
a couple stitches. There we go. Yay. There's our single crochet row. Chain one, turn your work. And now we get to do our last popcorn row for this little project for our heart. We're going to do these last two parts right up top. So this one starts out with six single crochets before we do our set of two popcorns. Four, five, and six. Now we'll do two popcorns in a row. First one, here's my second one. Second one, chain one to close. Now in between we want nine and then another set of two. Nine single crochets and then another set of two popcorns right next to each other. And there's my second one. And that's the last of them. So these last six stitches are just single crochet all the way to the end. There we go. That is our last row of popcorn stitch. But we're not done yet because these are still pointing up and these are pointing out. So we need to chain one, turn our work, and do our row of single crochet behind our popcorns like we always do. That is a requirement in order to complete the stitch patterns. The stitch sequence requires that. Otherwise it just won't look right. And there's my last stitch in this row. Chain one, turn our work. That was row 24 and there are 25 rows so we just have one more row of just regular old single crochet all the way down all 25 stitches. This is row 25 and then we're done. And there's my last two stitches. Hooray! very last stitch, single crochet, and we're done. That's awesome. Now all we have to do is finish off, which is just a snip and pull. And now you're ready to build an awesome patchwork blanket. Attach these to granny squares. You make a patchwork cardi with all kinds of combinations. Let's make a bunch of these in different colors and you can see the difference here. This was a five millimeter and this was a four millimeter hook. Same pattern, same stitches. I just used my five prim here. I used my four prim there. Only difference. So you can change the shape of these to match up with other patterns that you might have for other squares or other grannies or anything else. You can just change the size a little bit if you need to. So there you go. There's my heart. And you learned the popcorn stitch today. Hooray! So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back very soon. Thank you. Bye!